It seems to me that your role as a parent, your fundamental role is to act as a benevolent representative of the world. Because the child is going to move beyond you really by the age of four. Because after four, peers are the primary socializing agent. And that, in, that that's even more true as the child enters adolescence. And then post-adolescence, of course, they're off in the adult world. And so your role as a parent is to act as a benevolent and encouraging representation of the social community. And because that's what enables the child to learn how to be prepared for life independent of you. And I can't see how that can possibly be any other way. And so if your child is acting in an antisocial manner, let's say having a temper tantrum in the supermarket and drawing untoward negative attention towards him or herself, then you have a moral obligation to help the child bring that sort of behavior under control because it does them no favors. And my impression with people is, I was shocked when my wife and I first had our little kids because it opened up um, a window into a world of humanity that I didn't know existed. And that was a benevolent maternal and paternal element. Almost no one fails to smile when you roll your toddler down the street, especially if the toddler is smiling and alert and friendly. Everyone from decimated street person to, you know, in a hurry business executive will glance and smile. And that's especially true if they're parents and now you're in that club. People will react favorably to your children if they're given the chance. And your job is to help your child prepare to be that person to whom people react favorably. What a gift. I mean, there isn't anything you can possibly do for your child that's more beneficial to them than to help them learn to react to others in a manner that's inviting of generous reciprocity. And it requires, you could say, well, that's a higher order empathy. I want what's best for this child. But that doesn't mean just to eliminate conflict in the moment. It means to prepare them to be the sort of person that everyone wants to invite to play. That's, that's success as a parent. And it's also unbelievably pleasurable as a parent because then you have a child who, who's playful and you can have a playful dinner and you can have a playful conversation. And maybe when you're older, you know, when your child's an adult, you can have a playful adult relationship. And that's something of the highest possible order. None of that occurs without judgment, careful, cautious judgment, not, not moral assassination, right? We need to distinguish between those two.